Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Last time, we beat Dimitri after, t after finishing Operation Thunderbird. Or it's more like we beat him while we were doing Operation Thunderbird. He kind of just got in our way. What? What's happening? Okay, there was a... I don't know what that was. There was a police emblem blinking down the bot or uh, an Interpol Carmelita Fox emblem blinking on the bottom left hand corner and it told me to press square and I had no idea what it meant. I'm not sure if it's some Easter egg or something, I don't know, but that was weird. Um anyway, let's go on to meet this dude. Tiger Man with purple stripes and a turban. This guy? Oh, it doesn't say his name. This is called this up Oh bleh, let's go. <laughs> A starry eyed encounter. Another clockwork part had surfaced in India, so the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target. A mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. A self made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta, he started his life a crime selling illegal spices in the black market eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He since crowned himself Lord of the Hills and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased Ancestral Palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the Clockwork Wings, the symbol of my enemy. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you. Especially if your name was Cooper. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring in prestige. And maybe they will. But they're also bringing me. Sly Cooper and the gang in. A starry-eyed encounter. So, there we go. We just met our... Well, we now we know about our new enemy, Rajan. And he's apparently a bad guy. Um, he has the clockwork wings. And I'm going to sell stuff. Oh, yeah, I want to sell this gold coin... 27 coins for a gold comb. I don't think you could go out today and buy a solid gold comb for $27. No, I'm not sure. That's ridiculous. I'm sorry. I am I am angry. Not really. Anyway, um have we I don't think we've bought anything for Bentley, so let's buy the size disabler. We're not going to get to use it yet though because we can't play as anybody except for Sly. So let's play Sly. It's an elephant. Oh, a snake! Oh my god. Oh. oh, That's the one thing that, like, freaks me out about this area. There are snakes in the, the grass. And I like snakes. But when they pop out and go, they scare the crap out of me. And anyway, you're probably like, why aren't you going to the mission marker over there? Well, down here there's actually an item you can pick up. And a bottle. I forgot about the bottle. But I remembered there was like some treasure up here. Important stuff down here. And it you have a small amount of time to take this back. And uh, look at that flashy thing on the back of it. Guess what? That's a bomb, okay? Um, some treasures have bombs on it. And they will self-destruct unless you get them back in the safe house in time. So, let's get this bomb in there before we run out of 20 seconds. So, let's go! Oh, get up there! Okay. Um, now we can sell that on ThiefNet. What was it? A burial urn. Ooh, it's worth a lot of money. Wow. Um, anyway, let's buy... Ooh, which one? I want Fists of Flame, because that sounds cool. Um, kind of reminds me of the Fiery Temple of Flame in the first game, which drove me insane. Not really insane, but it drove me crazy. But, uh, it kind of reminds me of that. Van, hello. Um, I'm being really random. Oh! Snake. Okay. Oh, hello. Okay. <laughs> the only way across that river is on those conical rocks. Do you remember how to spire jump? What? 
You think I forget one of the Cooper family's greatest thief moves? Whenever I'm near pointed objects, I just need to jump and hit the circle button to perform a ninja spire landing. That's correct. Now let's see it in action. Okay. Well, oh, I oh, oh, I thought I wouldn't make that. I thought I jumped very f Oh, snake. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Is that going to happen every time one of those pops up? <laughs> uh, those snakes scare me. Anyway, yeah, I remember how to ninja spire jump. Uh, snakes. I love snakes, too. Oh, let's break these. It's just fun to run by and break those. I don't know why. I guess I'm being a bit destructive there. I don't know. Um, where's the mission marker? Mission marker, where are you? It's blue, isn't it? Somewhere. Oh, yeah, I have to lower the drawbridge, don't I? Oh, wait, what? It's right there. I see it. Wow, I need to pay attention. Okay, let's get over here. Um, we need to lower the drawbridge, don't we? And, oh, that's a snake, but it's not really going to harm me, is it? I guess it would harm me if it fell over on top of my face, but, uh, it looks fine. Oh, wait, what? Not a problem. There seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. Yes, because we're Sly Cooper and we're awesome, we're gonna climb on trees to get there. Um, can I make it to this branch? No, I don't think so. I can make it to this branch. I think. Thanks. So. Okay, tried to prove me wrong there. Uh, let's get over there. We gotta get over to that balcony for some reason. I don't know the mission. I don't really know the, uh, what we're doing for this mission. I should have paid attention. But there should be something in here. Ow, I'm leaning on my arm. Is this the... Th I do that. I, I think I've said that, like, many times now. I think I've said that, that I've said it many times before, too. Anyway, let's go out on that balcony. No, don't go out on the balcony, I believe, is what Bentley said. Because look, there are guards right there. And if you go out on the balcony, they will kill you. Oh, I alerted the guards by breaking stuff. Okay, well, even though the guards have, like, tunnel vision and can't see anything except for this stuff in their flashlight, well, I guess hearing's reasonable. They might just have bad eyesight. It's lit in there. Why do you need a flashlight? Okay, I'm going to start arguing. Let's take out our spy cam. Um, ooh, what's that? Clockwork wing. Looks like the wings have been welded onto that statue. Oh, do I have to take a picture of the other one? Okay. They look heavy. Getting the wings out of here will be a real challenge. Okay, where's another one? Ah, up here. I see. I see you. An electronic winch. That could be useful. For what, Bentley? I see he's already planning. That's how cool he is. Oh, there's a dude back there. You moved down my way. No, come back. Thank you. Thank you, Rajan. That's him. Rajan's he's really tall. He's impressively tall. <laughs> Look at his big, Maybe big, big claws. Okay, let's see. There might be some guests here. Oh, lots of lists. Who's that? Jean Bisson. A member of the Claw Gang and Canadian shipping baron. He owns half the trains in Canada. Oh, he owns trains. We're all going to get to meet these guys later. Oh, oh, dang it, Contessa, get back here. That's the Contessa. Oh, no, you're not the Contessa, you're a big dude. You're a big rhino dude. Where, where'd you go? Where's the Contessa? There you are. No, that's Arpeggio. We're gonna, Another yeah. <laughs> Arpeggio specializes in exotic technology. We're going to get to meet, like, a bunch of these guys later. Okay, there's the Contessa. I don't like the Contessa. She's a big spider, and one, I am i have a fear of spiders. And two, she's the Contessa, and later in the game, there's just a part that is very difficult for me. There's a part with the that is in the Contessa's world that just drives me crazy. Anyway, that was the Contessa. There's Carmelita. We know her. Look how small she is compared to everyone else here. Like, Rajan was a monster. He was towering. He was awesome. And, like, John Bisson 
He was pretty giant. Um, Contessa is a giant spider with freaking glowing red eyes. What a creeper. Um, yeah, everyone here is really tall. Um, and then there's Carmelita, who's who's not as tall. Where is Neela? What are you doing, Neela? Come on out. Hiding. Oh, he brought his sword up to my left, and I thought it was something else. I thought he was trying to attack me. There you are. There's Neela. Neela, another officer undercover. Watch yourself. My spy. eyeball itches. Is scratchy dogs. scratch. Or rubby rub That's more all the more like. I need. Bring them back to the safe house and we'll start building a game plan. Awesome. Stealing the clockwork wings in the middle of a crowded ballroom is going to take some serious misdirection. And the squad of undercover cops only makes things more complicated. Although, we might be able to use them to our advantage. But no matter what we do in the ballroom, sooner or later we'll need to deal with Rajan's security chopper. Murray can take it out with some of the local armaments. But he won't be able to get inside the palace until Sly lowers the drawbridge for him. Okay. Well, we were just given an objective there. Apparently, Sly needs to lower a drawbridge. Doesn't sound too difficult. Um, oh, I can play as other people, too. That's cool. Now I can, at least. Um, oh, I can't buy anything yet, though. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we just met, like, most of the antagonists. A lot of people that we're going to meet later. The snake! Oh, gosh. That thing scared me again, even though it's in the same location. Anyway, yeah, we just met a bunch of the characters. Ah, oh, Snake! Oh. Um, lots of them were antagonists. Arpeggio, Jambisan, the Contessa, Rajan. Well, I think all that, the, all those guys are antagonists who wish to hurt us. Or wound us, severely. And that's another bottle. You see, I want to pick up as many bottles as I can, so I don't have to do a super long finding bottle thing. Um, where's the, there's the mission marker, hello. Let's get over there. Oh, I like those, those are cool. They're just little thingies that bounce you up. What's oh, a door. Oh, I fell. Wonderful. That's just great. Poof. Poof. Not as poofy. Oh, monkey, no, crazy monkey trying to kill me, get away. No, another crazy monkey trying to kill me. This time it isn't rats, it's crazy monkeys. Get off the building. No, don't you get back up. Yeah, you're off the building. Yeah. See how I told him? Come on, can't there be a bottle on here? I don't know. I can't even climb up here. <laughs> oh, Sly. Ah, I fell down again. Okay, let's go find an alternative way up there. Oh, gosh. Okay, those elephants, if they find you, they release dudes. Oh, I don't know what those things are, those weird ram-like things that attack you. They're also enemies, like the crazy monkeys, but they're not as crazy. Anyway, let's knock on this door for some reason. Oh, I'm here for the dance. Huh? Sorry, sir, but we have a dress code. You got a tuxedo? Uh, no. Sorry, pal. No tux, no entry. Sorry, Sly. Somehow I totally overlooked the need for formal wear. Now, that guy's not going to let you in without a tuxedo. Don't beat yourself up, Bentley. At a party this ritzy, there has to be a spare penguin suit around here somewhere. Try the guest house. Someone may have overpacked. Okay, guys, this is one of my favorite missions. And you'll see why later in the next episode of Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Um, oh, I can't believe you didn't see me. I'm getting better at this, I swear. Um, oh, there's bottles down there too. Anyway, um, I'm getting off topic once again. Um, in the next episode of Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves, we will go into that guest house up there and go find a tuxedo. So, see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves.
Bye, guys.